Hi, I'm Laura from Freshwater Gills, and I'm standing in my warehouse in front of a stack of foam for the reason I just wanted to talk today a little bit about the difference between latex and foam, because we tend to use those terms or those our names interchangeably, and they're really very different materials. So in the foam world, it's made from petroleum. It's a petroleum product, and there are a lot of different foams. There are different densities. There's different um, qualities. There's flame retardants. Uh, there's just a lot of different characteristics, but by looking at them, sometimes you can't even tell. So you can see, like I've actually, I keep my foam labeled because even after all these years, just by looking at it, I might not be able to identify it correctly. And so years ago, you probably might remember this. Do you see what this is? Do you, do, do you see what that is? It's that soft squishy. This is memory foam. It's an old piece of memory foam. And back in the day, it was created by NASA. Somebody came along and Tempur-Pedic mattress company was born. And if you ever enjoy podcasts, one of my favorite podcasts is How I Built This. And if you go back into the archives, you'll find where Guy Raz actually interviewed the original uh, creator and owner of Tempur-Pedic mattress. But it was a disruptor in the mattress world. It really was. And some people really love it, love that sort of body hugging uh, uh, feel to it. And some people really just don't. It's, it's a very... I think a very strong divide of, of opinion of what it's comfortable or not, but it really did uh, revolutionize the world. The only problem with with the uh, memory foam is again it's it's not a natural material, and it can be warm. And in the world of um, boating, you don't want warm, and so they've added gels and things to give more of a cooling technology to the memory foam or viscoelastic, as it's also known. But over here, you see what this is. This isn't foam, this is latex, pin core latex. And this is made from the sap of the rubber tree. So this is natural, it's natural antimicrobial. You can see by just the construction of the pin core, it doesn't get hot like memory foam does. This is a great mattress cushioning material. My mother was an upholsterer and uh, she started upholstering when I was young just to earn some extra money for the family household. And um, actually it turned into a rather uh, pretty good size a decorating business. But when she was doing large cushions, you remember the day of the camelback sofa? And she had that long cushion. This was her favorite cushion material because Pincor, it has um, great resilience. It's soft, um, but it just rebounds so nicely. And when you, you know, when, when her in upholstery, she didn't want it to uh, lose its shape this was a great thing. Now, it's natural, it's from the rubber plant, and it's much more expensive than most foams. And yet, it's a really, in my personal opinion, I would go to latex over foam whenever I had a chance for a mattress in a heartbeat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the uh, corner where we show our mattress samples, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit more. Okay, see you over there. Hi, so we're now over in the corner of the showroom where we display the different mattress samples. And I have pulled two mattress samples that I wanted to show you, uh, mainly because it's one is a, a completely latex mattress. This is the premium plush. It has two inches of, of the soft latex on a firm latex foundation, no springs. This one on this side is system six. Whenever Handcrafts gives a number like system to it, there means there's springs in it versus just a completely latex mattress. But what makes this unique is it has the gel viscoelastic top to it with also some latex underneath it and coil springs. So if somebody is a sort of a tempur I call them the tempur people, where they love that memory foam feel, this is a dream. And one of the reasons why any mattress makes, I, in my opinion, is super comfortable is when you have that strong support underneath. And so whether it's a good firm piece foundation of latex or or spring, and then you go for that build up surface feel, and whatever that surface feel um, comfort means to you, and sometimes it can just mean a pillow top, or sometimes it can mean the gel, that is a great combination. And lastly, I just want to point out is, if you have a headroom problem, or you just really cannot, basically you cannot go very thick. So for example, headroom, uh, maybe a door to a closet won't swing past a certain point, and you can't handle eight and a half inches, you can't handle seven and a half inches, you need to stay sort of like in that four and a half to six and a half inch zone, latex is your friend. You're never gonna get a comfortable mattress made out of springs with that 
that thinness right there. But latex can really give you the support. I personally sleep on a pillow top latex. I don't have a lot of headroom in my D birth. We go to the North Channel, we sleep great. Yeah, would I love to have this in my boat? Absolutely. I just, I just don't have the, the, the room, the thickness for it. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between latex and foam. A latex is a, is a superior product in general. And next time we'll talk about toppers. That's what these samples are about. And that's a whole nother conversation. So see you next time.